Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us today for another Explore Tulsa. Now, Stevie, have you always worked in TV? Believe me, I tried, Trish, but there were times throughout the part of my early career that I had to take odd jobs. Like once, I even drove a linen truck for a service in the Houston oh, area. Oh, I bet you really cleaned up there, didn't you? Hardy, hard, hard, Trish. You know what? It's hard to tell a laundry joke. Wait, why is that? Because it always comes out clean. Oh, good, yeah. Well, for the last 60 years, the Waldman family has been keeping it clean for Tulsa. And we celebrated with them by meeting Douglas Waldman and taking a tour of their Tulsa facility. Oh, I've heard every dirty laundry joke. You know, I wander money, I want you name it, I, I can come up with them. Some of, some of them I can tell on TV, some I can't, so. <laughs> I'm the third generation owner of Superior Linen Service. Uh, we're kind of excited. This is our 60th anniversary year this year. Uh, my grandfather started a business in Tulsa in 1954. It was at 7th and Cheyenne called Industrial Uniform and Towel Supply. And my, grandf or my father took over that business. And at that time, for the first 30 years, we primarily concentrated on industrial uniforms. Uh, in 84, my father sold that business and restarted this business called Superior Linen Service and we decided to focus on the uh, food and beverage segment, the restaurants, the country clubs in town. And so this business has regrown into a four state operation with 400 employees in, in those 30 years. You know, this business, you touch so many other businesses, you know, every industry and business and now restaurant and hospital and clinic. But what I really enjoyed about it was just getting out and meeting people. And then I like to be a part of that, to know that when you're going out to a restaurant to have dinner uh, and enjoying your meal, you know, my service and my product is, is a part of that to make that experience fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, a hundred years ago, this was still a horse and buggy, you know, business. And uh, and even through the 50s and 60s, it was still fairly uh, uh, traditional, uh, you know, basically you can picture what you do at home. You know, you got a washer and a dryer, you wash and you fold and all that. And, but in the last 20 years, the technology boom in this industry has just exploded. The chemistry involved, the material handling involved, the, uh, uh, the bacteriological testing that we're doing now not only gives a better product, but uh, much easier on the employees. You know, it's not as manual as it used to be. The quality is better. The quality control is better. And, and even the textiles have changed. You know, in the, in the old days, it was your standard cotton uh, napkin. And today, the refinement and just the textile processing, which is a whole nother, you know, industry is, uh, you know, a simple napkin is not a simple napkin anymore. The engineering that's just in the napkin is, is unbelievable. You know, I say yes, I'm a third generation family business, but uh, what's really amazing is how many family members, not my family, but other people's uh, generations of, of families have worked, uh, grandfathers and parents and kids, you know, all from the same families have worked. And out of the 400 employees that we have, we did a little study and probably 80% of those were related to other employees, uh, many generations deep. But that 60 years is much for the people who have been here as long or even longer in this business than I have and that are really excited about it. We're having our big black tie gala at Tulsa Country Club in October, or August, excuse me. We had a professional writer do a history of us and fun book, he came from New Jersey, excellent uh, copy on that, uh, that everybody's getting and we're giving out to our employees and our customers and our friends. Uh, just kinda tell who we are and hopefully why we'll be around another 60.